Hey guys, Thomas Brown here with Salt Supply at the Global Pet Expo 2015. This show is really different from anything I've ever covered before as they have dog and cat manufacturers and retailers, but I know you guys are interested in the aquatics show, so we're gonna head to that. But first, let's take a look around and see what this show has to offer. So of course you guys wanted me to get over to the Aquatics Division, but before we go, I'm going to head over to this booth and see some magic tricks, and we're going to see if we can figure out how he did it. Now when you see this, the science behind this, you said I'm trying to figure out the science behind it, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking my fingertips, I'm sucking the metal through me, right, so it's gone. Then it goes over the shoulder and comes down my arm and then out the other hand. <laughs> I know, it's cool. The Amish are always like, burn him! Um, uh, uh, I'll do it again. There's one, two, three here, and there's one here. Okay, you watch me. Wow. Like, uh, okay, uh, uh, watch. I'll show you. You'll see it ripple. Look, look, look. Boom, it ripple over my shoulder and then down. Uh, um, two and two. You know what? We'll do it this way. There's two here. Yeah, yeah. Get right on it. Yeah. Are you ready? Whenever you want. Whenever you want, you'll say go. And the second you say go, it'll be there. I mean, like, literally the second. So, I, like, when I'm here, the second you say go, it'll go. Go. Gone. Isn't that cool? And I'm here with John Carlin from Fincasters to kind of talk us through this because this is not your first rodeo here you've been here no, i've been here a bunch a of times I'm yeah sure about have. four i think you said yeah, right my so you're a veteran form. well well i don't know if i'm a veteran but because uh, there's some people have been coming for a long time this is where the pet industry comes to do business you've got uh, the folks of course in the aquarium trade but also dogs cats ferrets you name it and whether you want a baby bu buggy for your dog or whether you want filter media for your fish tank this is where the pet trade comes to do business and it's it's amazing because everybody's dressed up. Man, you even tie. have your blazer. I got the blazer on, man. I was like, <laughs> first year I came, I had a golf shirt on, and they're like, uh, you know, yeah. like you know, like you're so going to a it, business it, meeting. You might be stopping by a booth, but it's not Macna. It's yeah. not a guy who's trying to raise stuff in his own aquarium. It's it's a guy coming by, and he want he wants to know uh, if he can fill his warehouse with your product. To learn more about Fincasters, you can go to youtube.com forward slash Fincasters. And John, thank you so much for talking with us. My really pleasure. appreciate it. Hi, I'm Scott Kohler with Red Sea, and we are here at the Global Pet Expo to introduce the new Reefer series of aquariums. What we have behind us is the Nano, the 170 liter model, and the 250 liter model. Uh, we also have available a 350 and 450 liter model. So what we have with the Reefer is a ultra clear, low iron glass in a rimless design. So it gives you a nice, clean corners Perfect fit and finish with the black silicone uh, joints. What we have here is a very sophisticated water management system, which helps the system to run virtually silent. We employ a large diaphragm valve, which I'll show you in a moment down in the uh, sump area, which allows precision adjustment of the rate that the water is going down into the sump. Another very nice feature, we've all experienced the difficulties of cleaning hair algae uh, off of the combs, these actually just snap right off. So you can clean these very easily, replace them of course if necessary, to keep everything unobstructed and, and keep that nice clean image. Here we have the sump area of the Reefer 250. And you'll notice first the plumbing, which is uh, included with the downspout, and this is the valve I was talking about earlier. That control valve uh, makes it very easy to adjust the rate of, of the water coming back down. It helps the sump to run silent. Here we have our auto top-off system. Simply fill this up with your RO water, which is gravity-fed to a float valve in the back left-hand corner. This will help to ensure a consistent level of water so that your skimmer settings are going to be maintained and also uh, compensate for the evaporation for a few days, depending on your rate uh, of evaporation. There is a degassing sponge between the first and third chambers to help ensure that you're not going to have micro bubbles going back into the aquarium. You choose your own pump depending, uh, of course, on the uh, flow rate that you desire for your own system. Another very nice feature of this sump design is that you have your filter socks, which are right here, 
that are very, very easy to change simply by sliding out this drawer, replacing your standard size filter socks, and that just slides right back into place. And if the water level does uh, go up, it simply flows over the socks, so there's no chance of any of the uh, detritus that's been captured going back into the system. Hey everybody, this is Carlos from Coral View and we're here at Global Pet Expo 2015 and today we're actually going to be talking about the brand new Giesemann Aurora Hybrid Light. The hybrid has both LEDs and T5 components. So you had the beauty of the LEDs, low heat and intensity, plus adding the Atinic and the UV8 radio, uh, ultraviolet light from the Atinic lights. It runs very cool. I can put my hand on it, I have no problem. I've been running it for all day, no issues at all. This tank is actually 36 inches deep and as you can see at the bottom of the tank, the, t the corals are well lit, they're happy. All right, so this is the Giesemann app which controls every single Giesemann fixture. So regardless of it being LEDs, T5s, or LEDs only, or metal headlights, the same app will control all of them. It also controls modular lighting so that you can hook them up together and control them with a single app. It allows you to set different settings on the light, including changing the coloration. So I can actually, I'll show you here. We're gonna turn off the lights first. So the lights are completely off, okay? So then what I can do for this particular Aurora lighting is I can bring the channels up and down, like the T5 or the LED channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the LED, the T5 up. And the LED, the T5 is completely 100% dimmable. Mm -hmm. So I can bring them all up. Now this is the tank lit with T5s only. It's actually still bright, but it's missing that pop. So then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the white purples up on the LEDs and take a look at this. All of a sudden, now you got this little pop. And it's kind of yellow for me, so I'm gonna bring the blue up and a little more blue and maybe back off on one of the T5s and now I got this nice tank. I can turn this into a day cycle so then it starts from you know eight o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock p.m. And I can do that by the day cycle where I'm gonna call up the data that we have already stored in here so everybody can see. And there it's the light, every single channel, including the T5s, on single points. And then I can move points around if I want. I, want it, I can create more points and uh, create a, a fine line of everything. So I can have a very blue tank in the morning, maybe white, in the middle of the day and then it comes, starts to be a little bit more blue or maybe a little yellow in the afternoon. You can do anything you want with this. It has also uh, weather patterns, lighting, and uh, rolling clouds. Is and everything, awesome. is everything is controlled by the app. One of the products that we have here at Coral View is the Flipper, which is actually a two, a two product in one. It's a scraper and a scrubber. There's one side of the inside where it's like a scrubber so you can actually get that fine polishing on the glass and then on the other side you can flip it and then you end up That's with well, a fully fully scraper so hey yeah, let me do it again okay pick it up and that is it the beauty about this thing though is that when you flip it into the scraper it actually has only three points touching the blade and then this two white dots. So then you can actually go down to the bottom and if sand gets trapped in here, it actually doesn't get trapped because it's not touching, so it just falls right through. So it never scratches your glasses. It's very soft, no rusting, nothing at all. And you can, tw you can turn it on the corner or if you get good at it, you can just turn it on the... And when can I pick this up? You can pick it up anywhere. It's carried by Coral View, but any local store or online retailers will carry it nowadays. So, so it's yeah. So it's but it's the flipper. Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ian from New Life uh, International, makers of New Life Spectrum. So I was asked to talk to you about uh, dough mix today, which is basically a new kind of uh, food mix, where you add three parts powder that comes with dough mix and one part water to create a pliable, what we are calling a feeding dough. It's so new that there's not even really a name for it. So what it basically is, it's a pliable, flexible dough. So it can be formed in any shape, anything from a giant wafer or large pellets. 
small pellets, anything like that. Okay, um, it's great for bottom feeders, grazers, even uh, midwater feeders, uh, because you can. It sticks to any glass surface and comes off quite easily. So you can create a feeding station midwater to allow your fish to graze at it um, over time. Um, so it's great for overtime feedings, things like that. Um, the powder itself needs no refrigeration and it can act and you so you can make it to order. So unlike a lot of, uh, if you have actually any kind of pliable, soft and moist food, it doesn't require preservatives or anything like that. So we were able to keep the preservatives to a minimum because you're not making it until you need it. So it's a kind of a great uh, new kind of thing. It's feeding dough. We want to introduce you to our rimless 45 gallon tank from JBJ. It has a seamless design with bent corners, beautiful viewing, Many features our 45 rimless has. Dual returns, which is great. Two pumps, 266 gallons per hour. We have dual overflows. Basket that you can put many different types of aquarium filtration. Now in our back compartment, we have two areas that you can use a protein skimmer, heaters, and even one compartment that you can use as a refugium for all of you reef geeks out there. Hi, I'm Jeremy from Coral View. We're here over at Global. Um, talk about the new Smart uh, RODI by IceCap. It's a four-stage RODI unit. All right, you've got the four-stage unit. You got your first, second, third, and fourth oil-filled pressure gauge, booster pump to get the efficiency out of the membrane with uh, a special smart controller that fully automates the RODI process. New Smart IceCap controller which gives you full status readouts of what the process of uh, what's going on in the filtration. Right now, because there is no water input, it is showing that there is no water, which prevents the pump from running and any of the switches from going bad. You have two different modes of operation. You have the standard manual mode, which can operate at um, like if you have a float switch or whatnot, and it'll pressure sensitive. So. Once it flips that switch, it'll shut down the unit. Um, or you can run it in a timer mode up to 99 hours. And you can set it by simply going up and down. There you go. You go in manual mode. You can also uh, do a strong flush if you wish, which could uh, will set about a two minute flush on the membrane. This is a good option for those that don't have float switches and want to fill up a a container they can set it and forget it because it is running under high pressure we also have a new unique um, water sensitive switch so that if it leaks water touches the base it'll shut down the unit and an audible alarm will go off uh, you got three tds readouts uh, one for the source water one after the membrane and one going for your product water after the di stage the you also have on the two, the one coming off of the membrane and the DI stage, a filter change reminder. As soon as it reaches a certain point where we feel is ideal that it's going to tell you to change your membrane or change your DI media. The new RODI also has a booster pump, a oil filled pressure gauge. It has a new sturdy uh, structured uh, housing so that uh, you know you can mount it up on a wall you can mount it up on a, a tabletop surface it's very solid it's got a unique uh, power coated uh, coating to it so it helps prevent from uh, rust from inhibiting into the steel structure um, is pretty efficient we're testing it out to be about a two to one ratio and uh, we're gonna pretty much mark it as a hundred gallons per day, but can go up to about 160 gallons per day.